What is going on guys, it's TCM Mark V here and today I'm going to be bringing you a video, a, bit, a little sort of tips video for some of you who may be victims of the Virgin Media static IP, IP address problem. Some of you may be uh, basically being destroyed by a host or that has your IP, you can't change it. Whenever you play on stream, you're, you seem to be getting booted offline. Whenever you're in the public eye whatsoever, playing a match, uh, playing a tournament, whatever and you seem to be going offline and this is very frustrating for not only you but your teammates and this is going to be a quick fix for you guys who aren't able to actually change IP address to, to uh, change I, um, internet provider to something like BT uh, who would be a, a, a complete fix, you would have a, a dynamic IP address and then you wouldn't be getting hit offline again. So now this is the quick fix guys. One thing you are going to need for this whole thing is a uh, external router. I don't actually use this anymore because I actually managed to, to switch completely over and uh, I no longer have need for this, but I'm going to keep it in the list just in case I switch over in the future. This is a TP-Link N600 and it is a sort of dual band router that can be used uh, with another router like the Superhub on the... On Virgin, you plug uh, one end of an Ethernet cable into your super hub uh, and, and the bottom modem mode point, and then you plug the other end in here, and that is how internet is provided to this uh, router modem, whatever you want to call it. And I'll explain how you what, what, what you need that for now. So, on Virgin, right, on super hub mode, your IP address is, is pretty much static, right? When your internet is connected to that, it will only reset the IP address if there's no connections being made to it for up to at least 24 hours, maybe even longer. So, what I would recommend, get yourself the router I just showed you, and go. once you get that, you can, you'll actually be able to change to modem mode and your superb settings, you'll be able to access them on 192.168.0.1. And in the settings that your password and username are, will either be admin admin or admin change me. You might not even get asked for your username, so you might just simply have to put in the the password change me or admin. Uh, you can then change it whatever you to whatever you want to. If you don't actually know the password, none of those things work. You will actually be able to press the pinhole reset on your superb, and that will reset the whole thing, and it will be one of those passwords. Now. Um, when you're in the, the Superhub settings, like I said, you'll be able to disable or enable modem mode. Uh, you want to obviously enable it, plug in that router, and that'll give you the new IP address. The The modem mode IP is different to the usual Superhub IP, and that means you'll be on that. Uh, your, your family will be able to connect to the Wi-Fi via the, the new modem. Uh, you'll obviously be able to connect all your devices via Ethernet or wireless to that uh, to the router as well, the, the N600. And you'll have a new IP. I'll, I'll put the link in the description, guys, of this TP-Link router, but there's numerous uh, the routers will, that will work with this. Uh, you really just need to do a bit of research yourself uh, and, and figure that out. But in Europe in particular, this is a big problem. We, we need to fix this, guys. We need to be able to stream live Call of Duty because that's where we get the most, the most impact, really. We're streaming some of these leagues and some of them ain't live. And we're, we're playing games that a lot of the top players know it isn't live it's just you just don't get as much of an impact and i feel like that can affect things T people aren't able to stream teams aren't able to stream and that's what we lack in european call of duty right now so this is a quick fix it's not going to be uh, a complete fix of it but it will uh, be able to sort the issue and another thing i forgot to mention also guys that when you're actually on modem mode uh, you will have that new ip address if by any chance uh, a booter does manage to get your IP on that one, then once you change back over to the uh, the super hub again, you'll have a fresh IP address, presuming it's not in the, the same 24 hours that you've managed to get your IP address found. Also, another thing, uh, to, to protect yourself from Skype, create a new one, guys. Create a new Skype, create a, f a clean slate, and in, in the tools and options of, of Skype, this, this will stop your IP address from getting resolved via that... that way. Go on Skype, Tools, and then Options, and then Advanced Connection, and then make sure you're, you have the box Allow Direct Connections to your contacts only. Make sure that's ticked, guys. That means that the host will not be able to resolve your IP through Skype, which will obviously solve a lot of problems for you guys, that's where they mainly get it from. Anyway, 
Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I'll see you all later.